a dramatic twist in Libya as the commander of special forces switched sides. Speaking in Benghazi, he says he's joining forces with retired General Khalifa Haftar. The Libyan special forces declare that because of the emergence of terrorist groups that have been killing, kidnapping and destabilizing our security, we will stand with the will of the people and join the battle of dignity under the leadership of the Libyan National Army. The self-declared Libyan National Army is led by General Haftar. On Friday, it declared open war on what it called extremists and terrorists. Haftar accused the General National Congress of supporting extreme groups. But powerful former rebel groups in Benghazi accused the general of staging an attempted coup and they will fight against him. They've been trying to destabilize the country for a while. The latest coup by Haftar, the murderous general that took place in Benghazi, we condemn all the killings and bombings that took place. We will resist any attempts to occupy Benghazi. We support the Joint Military Operations Command and we condemn the attack on the parliament by Gaddafi loyalists. On Sunday, forces from the powerful Zintan militias attacked the country's parliament. They said they were acting on General Haftar's orders. The caretaker government, which is weak and struggling to rein in powerful militias, has proposed an initiative to end the worsening crisis. It called on the General National Congress to elect a new prime minister. If it fails to do so, then the current caretaker government would remain until new elections are held on August 15. The initiative also calls on the GNC to take a break until a new body is elected. The GNC is yet to respond to the government's proposal and it's not clear how the powerful former rebel groups who oppose General Haftar will react to it. What's clear is that Libya is in deep crisis and many fear the country is heading towards a civil war. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.